back to my channel. Glad to have you here with me. Hope everyone is doing well. This is an LTD haul. Um, a lot of you might remember LTD, might have remembered it as ABC Distributing, um, all kinds of different. There's a whole bunch of sister sites, but they basically all, all one and the same. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I've been shopping with LTD for, oh, many, many years, and they always really stuck you for the shipping and handling. I hated it. Uh, but now they've gotten better. They had to with competitive sites that are out there now offering free shipping here and there and, you know, all kinds of great deals that in order to keep up, you know, or else they're going to lose more business, they have to start throwing some deals. So they have for a while now. Um, and if you follow me on Instagram and on Facebook, I will let you know and give you a heads up when they do have a special deal. Like I did that the other day, my last LTD haul, I had let you guys know that they were having a free shipping and handling, no minimum required, which is the best deal that they can give you. So I jumped on that and I did that haul for you guys. Well, this time it was $5.00 shipping and handling because it's usually like $9.99 for shipping and handling it's usually a lot more expensive so five bucks is not bad five bucks uh, for shipping and handling but it had to have a sixty dollar or more order and that's not hard for me to do especially when I do Christmas shopping I am one of those who does the Christmas shopping early so that when Christmas comes I'm ready so I found some stuff for Christmas so let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I'm welcome. And if you're a subscriber who's been with me for a very long time, thank you. I truly appreciate appreciate each and every one of you guys' support. All right. I got this for my daughter for Christmas. She is an Elvis fanatic. She absolutely loves Elvis Presley. So you know those books that are Where's Waldo? Well, I'll f I found Where's Elvis? Find the King of Rock and Roll. So, <laughs> there you go. I saw that and I said, I have got to get her that for Christmas. She'll get a kick out of it. So, got her the book. <coughs> Excuse me, it's a hard-covered book. And it was, give you some prices, $4.98. So, she'll get a kick out of that. All right, let's see, what else? I bought these two candle holders. They are plastic, they are lightweight, but you don't know that by looking at them. By looking at them, you would swear that they are glass and they are that like, I don't know if you call it mercury kind of glass. It's uh, teal in color and it's sil silver in teal. It's got that mercury and kind of cracked kind of look to it they're beautiful comes as a set and it was set of two candle holders it was fourteen dollars and ninety four cents and it's not a set i apologize uh one was one price and one was another price but they only give me just the price of them together and it's fourteen dollars and ninety four cents for the two of them one is larger than the other and they are battery operated they light up which makes it ooh la wee so much better but here here's one as you can see that's what it looks like that silver and teal kind of cracked look to it mercury kind of isn't that pretty so and then it's just silver on the top but it is a candle holder. It's rather large and it is plastic and it does, it's battery operated. This is what it looks like when it's not on. And then when it is on, there you go. So I thought that was beautiful. And at nighttime in our dining room, when we have all the lights off and, or even in the living room or even in the bedroom, but I'll put probably mine on my buffet over there. And then when they're lit up at night, it'll give that nice ambiance look to the dining room. So I got that one. That's the larger one. And then here is the smaller version here. 
So here are the two. As you can see, one taller than the other. And turning them both on. <coughs> Excuse me. There you go. That's going to look very nice. There. I love it. Absolutely love them. They, like I said, they're very lightweight because they are plastic. So, got those. All right. All right, let's see what this is like. You see this backsplash behind me and it's coming up? That's one that my hubby put on a long time ago and uh, it's got it from the Dollar Tree and it's starting to finally like bubble and come off. So I want him to pull that off and I saw these on that site on LTD and he looked at them as well and he said, and we measured it, got the measurements, everything, and we said, we'd like to try these. So he's going to put these up in place of taking that down back there. And it's these tiles, they're metal tiles. They look like this. And there was some in silver and, and then this bronzy kind of color. I didn't like the design that was on the silver. It was stars. I didn't want stars. This one is going to be roosters, <coughs> excuse me, which I thought was more appropriate for the kitchen. Plus, as you can see, the lower backsplash that goes along the side over here, right just above the countertop, that backsplash. <clears throat> is a bronzy brownish color so I didn't think the silver would be quite appropriate to match with it I thought this color would look much better matching with that backsplash so there you go so it looks like this but there's a whole bunch of them came in this box here and let me get some of them out so here's there's the rooster as you can see there's every other one like one will be the rooster another one will be just be plain like this and then he just has to you know put a pattern of them you know no rooster rooster no rooster and so on and so forth to fill that space yeah right there above the stove comes with these double-sided stickers so he's got to put those on the back of these and then, yeah, stick them up there. So there you go. It came in this box and it also came with the directions, which are right here, telling us how to do it. And I apologize for his phone. He's downstairs in the basement. His phone is up here going off. So we'll just pretend we don't hear that. All right, so I've got to put these back inside this box until he gets around to putting them up. All right, the next thing that I got was this book, and I thought this book was very interesting. It says, Five Minutes with Jesus, Quiet Time for Your Soul, Sheila Walsh with Sherry Gregg. That's what it says there. And it says in the back, step away from the noise and into the arms of your loving savior. Bright screams, beeping notifications, a never ending list of activities to do and to do's. When do we ever stop? It isn't any wonder we are deeply weary. Jesus longs to give you the gift of rest to lead you beside quiet waters and refresh your soul he stands with open arms saying come as you are it says the five minute with jesus series is the perfect way to start your day with a replenished heart so there you go i'm going to open it now because i want to start reading this when i go to bed at night every night I lay in bed for a few minutes before I actually turn the lights off to go to sleep and I always read something, <coughs> excuse me, and give thanks to God for the beautiful day that he had given me and I say my prayers.
So I thought this would be nice to read as well when I go to lay down. So it opens up and it has, looks like this, has all kinds of, it says, how he longs for you. And then there's a story there. And it says, you don't have to clean yourself up to come home to your father. Just come. And so it's little stories, little five-minute stories. You know, you just read it. And then, so I think it's going to, this one's rerouting, it says. That's the title of that story. It says, do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand, Isaiah 41.10. So there are also a lot of verses in here as well to look up. So I'm really looking forward to, you know, start reading this at night. So I got myself that book. That book was, it's a hardcover book as well. It is, it was $4.98. All right. And, oh, and the wall plaques that I told you, I didn't tell you the price. Let's see. There is a set of 16 in here. We measured it, and that's how many it's going to take to fill that space above the stove back there. And there are... They were $7.98 for 16 of them. Not bad at all. All right, and then let's see. The salt and pepper shakers. Here we go. I'm going to show you those. They came in this box here. You know me. I've started collecting some salt and pepper shakers. And when I saw these, I had to have them. <laughs> and you'll see why when you see them getting them out of the little bags here. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. The, these are a Disney brand. I'm trying to turn them around so you can see them. But it's Minnie and Mickey. <laughs> Salt and pepper shakers. I thought they were just darling. Aren't they so pretty? And they're really quite big. They really are. So I got that set of salt and pepper shakers. They were $9.98 for the set. Okay. Last but not least, I got some Himalayan. Yep, Himalayan. I'm on this Himalayan kick. Himalayan salt and these are candle holders. They don't light up. You put a tea light in it, you know, a real tea light where you can light it up, or you can just use the kind, get at the Dollar Tree, battery operated, you know, those kind. Either way, it holds a candle or a tea light. And they look like this. It says, be centered and serene. Looks like that. They are heavy extremely heavy so I got one two <laughs> and here we go hubby's gonna hold up the third one there <laughs> there you go up a little higher Brad there you go got three got three sets one for the daughter one for mom and one for us the one for us I opened it up <coughs> one thing about Himalayan salt whether it be lamps whether it be these candle holders whatever it may be you're never going to get to alike okay that's what's unique about himalayan salt it's like snowflakes they're just you're never going to find one exactly the same they're, they're always going to be different they're going to be different in color different in shape different yeah so these are the two that came out of one box and you're going to get to see the difference between the two yes they are himalayan salt for real because one it's coming off of it and two it's extremely salty <laughs> so they're real but here they are here this one here as you can see it's this light pink color and there's where you put the tea light and then see how there's this one, which is much darker, much, much darker. So 
never going to get two exactly the same. So if you order these and think that when they come in the box, you don't like that they look alike, I'm giving you a heads up now. It's not going to be. So it comes with inside it. It also came with this little booklet how to care for them because there is a certain way you have to care for your Himalayan salts. You know, you don't want to get them wet. You don't want to use them in bathrooms where there's a lot of high humidity. Um, uh, so you just got to be careful with them. But look at the different varieties of how you can get Himalayan salt. You can get it in candle holders. You can get it in lamps. Look here. You can get it in night lights all different varieties of Himalayan salt besides using it on your food which is actually very good for you better than table salt so that is it those were I'll tell you the price on those let's see set of oh here they are it was, they're $4.98 a box. That is an awesome price, <laughs> so, you know? So I got, for all three of them, you know, I got them for $4.98, five, almost five bucks a piece. So it came to $14.94 for all three of them, which is a fantastic deal. So there you go. And then I gave you, I think, the wrong prices on these candle holders that are the ones that are blue let's see yes I did these here gave you the wrong prices this did come as a set it was $21.98 for the set not a piece you know but I told you different prices a piece so it was for the set of it so there you go so anyway I made my amount I needed to make got some great Christmas gifts got myself some nice stuff too <laughs> Merry Christmas to me. Oh, honey, you bought me some Christmas gifts. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thanks for the salt and pepper shakers. Didn't know you knew I wanted those. No, I don't have to get you anything. Yay! <laughs> Cheapskate. Hi, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Uh, check out LTD. I bought all of this with my own money. I don't, you know, I'm not... Uh, uh, promoting them in any way. I just like the site. So there you go. All right, guys. Remember to always let go like God. No guts, no glory. God bless each and every one of you. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.